Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we have a bit of a random unboxing. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I have three packages today, and now I know the order that I'm going to be opening these up because I have a pretty cool, pretty cool set of packages today. We've got one from the Funko Shop, one from the VVGS, and then one from, you guys ready for this one? Gotcha Robot. Now let's start with the VVGS. Now if you guys don't know, um, this is a pretty cool thing. Now if you guys have heard of like graded um, hockey cards or Pokemon cards or comic books or figures, like collectible figures. Um, now we have the newest thing, which is graded Funko Pops. Um, so there's actually a company out there called the VVGS, and um, they grade Funko Pops. Now he has sent me an example one, of the, uh, Sean from over at the VVGS, he has sent me a, an example one and wants to uh, just show it off on the channel. He also said that um, I can also send some over of my Pops to get graded, so I want to pick out two of them um, to get over there, to send over there to get graded. I don't know which ones I'm going to do yet. Um, I want to pick two good ones that aren't too expensive, but are like really cool, like part of our, um, you know, channel, like how maybe like Mr. Narwhal or something would be really cool. Um, but I got to look around to see if I can find anything cool. But let's just get right into this, guys. See what we got here. Okay, so let's see what we got. So as soon as we open up the package, we see a letter that says Top Pops on it. So we'll have to open this up here. Um, so let's check it out and see what it says. Let me use the knife here. It'll be a bit easier. Um, these, these are actually really neat. I saw these first on... Um, Cletus's channel, and I believe he messaged me on Instagram as well before that, but I didn't see it till after Cletus had done his thing. Anyways, let's just check this out here. It says, ooh, whoa. Certificate of Authenticity. This figure has been graded using the original vaulted vinyl grading system, or vinyl vault graded system, system uh, created by an, and offered exclusively through VVGS. Now this is just a demo one, it says there. So this is one to show you guys what it would look like if it was graded. Um, and I actually am gonna be getting some graded, so we'll, get, we'll have an entire video on this later. Um, here's their card if you guys wanna check that out. There's the one side. And then we flip it over to so you guys can see this as well. There's the other side with the QR code and stuff like that. So if you guys want to check that out. Um, now let's see what this says here. I might not read through the whole thing. Um, but just to give you an example. Uh, the, vo the vinyl vault graded system has three components. The method by which we grade your Funko Pop. This provides the grade itself. The vinyl vault which encases your Pop. This protects and secures your Pop. And the private web page that will show you the details of the grading marks for your pop. Oh, okay, I did not know that. So there's the gradings are given in the following groups. Let me skip to this part here. Um, 10 is gem, 9.9 to 9.9 9 is mint, 9.6 to 9 is near mint, 8.5 to 7 is very fine, 6.5 to 5 is fine, 4.5 to 4 is very good, 3.5 to 3 is good. 2.5 to 2 is fair, and 1.5 to 1 is poor, and NG is not graded. Uh, any pop that is fake, or if the pop box and insert do not match, receive a graded of not graded. We grade the pop box and the insert. Anything that is not perfect affects the grade. Contact us at webpage, and then you guys can check them out there. They have a Facebook, they have a YouTube, the, the VVGS on YouTube, email the VVGS at gmail.com for any questions. Um... So guys, go check them out, but let's get right into this, guys, um, where we can show off everything that's going on with the graded Funko Pops, because they are very cool. Oh, they also sent back a shipping label, which is nice. Um, thank you so much for that. That'll be much easier for when I want to send back the figures. Um, but let's see what we've got here. Okay, so I see it. Okay, guys, it must be in here. This is the figure here. Let's see. Oh, good, the tape's coming off here. Okay, so it says angel on the outside so that must be i don't know we'll have to, we'll have to figure it out um we'll see if that's the pop or not um uh, but anyways here let me put that right there okay guys so we have okay oh it is angel okay that's neat okay guys so we have here angel now this is um now this is the dm for demo um now this is cool because if you guys have never seen this before this is how they do it so this is a graded Funko Pop. So you guys can see on the top here, this is the grading. And then down bottom here is where they put the extra stuff to tell you, like, the level of grading and, um, you know, what the figure is and stuff like that. So it says Angel X-Men number 424, which is what this is right here. And it says DM for demo. And then it says Exclusive Marvel Collector Corp. So there's, like, an extra line, so if you want to write something on it or 
or something different there. If you guys want to put like a, a message or something, you can put that there. Now on the back guys, it says the original vinyl vault grading system, the VVGS.com, copyright 2018 by Sean LLC, all rights reserved. So he has the copyright to this. And then guys on the back, you can see the QR codes. So you can scan that and everything like that. Um, so very cool, very neat. This is a demo one, but it's still really awesome to see this guy. So this is the example of what it would look like when you guys get yours in. It would just have the grading here instead of DM for demo. Um, this is actually really neat. I'm super pumped about having this. Um, and I'll be getting some of my pops graded, like I said, so this would be really cool to have some in my collection graded that are actually part of my collection. Um, I gotta think of some good ones to do, and uh, we'll find some good ones for sure. Um, but for anyways, guys, that's what we have for right now. But anyways, guys, let's move on to the next package here. Again, uh, Sean over at VVGS, thank you so much for sending this over. Uh, I will for sure be sending out some pops to get, um, you know, graded. And now let's move on to the next package that we've got. Okay, guys, so next up, we have one from the Funko Shop. Now, I'm pretty pumped about this one. Um, it came in a different box than normal. They must have ran out of their Funko Shop boxes. Um, but this one here, I ordered a couple things at once, so I'm not exactly entirely sure what this is. Um, sometimes I can figure it out by the time it comes in, but I ordered, like, three things that this week had come out um, because there was, like, the... I don't think it's the one that I'm thinking. There's a couple things that I have. Let me see if it says it on the paper. I don't want to give anything away. Oh, okay, it's this one. Okay, okay, okay. Let me get this out of here so you guys can't see it. Um, this is one of those figures that I'm trying to get the entire set for, and I'm super pumped that I can get this one. I remember I had to order this one during class. Hold on, wait. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys, so we have this here. Does it say it on the side? Now, huh, this is funny. Um, if you guys, I'm going to just tell you what the figure is because it's, it's on the side of the box. But do you guys see that there? Where is it? Pop ad icons. When this is clearly an icon pop, even Funko wants it to be an ad icon. Um, so if you guys don't know, there's two different lines now. Pop ad icons and pop icons. Pop icons are real people. And I'll give you an example of George R. R. Martin, who is the uh, writer for, um, he wrote the books of the Game of Thrones books. Um, there's other ones, which I'll tell you about in a second. But for now, let's just open this one up here, guys. Ooh, this one's cool. I'm pumped about this one. We got Colonel Sanders, guys. Now, this is the Funko Shop exclusive Colonel Sanders. This is Colonel Sanders with Kane. Um, the other one, which you guys saw that we did a hunt for, super sad I couldn't get that one, but it was literally cut across the side. You could see right into it. Um, that one was Colonel Sanders with a bucket of chicken. Now, this is Colonel Sanders with the cane. This came in in mint condition. I'm super pumped about this one. Um, but if you guys don't know, it says your favorite fried chicken salesman is now your favorite collectible. Um, the, uh, the icons collection is now Dr. Seuss, the two Colonel Sanders, um, Stan Lee, Patina. We think Jim Henson will be coming out for Emerald City Comic Con. And then the last one is Dr. Seuss, as well as George R.R. R. Martin. Um, so there's up to number seven so far. We don't know what number two or six is. Um, we're thinking two could be... Um, we're thinking two could be Jim Henson, which is the creator of the Muppets. That would be awesome. Um, but for now, this is the highest one that is out so far, which is number... I believe this is number... F oh, no. Then the normal one is the highest, because the other one's number five. Um, but let's pop this one open, guys, because I want to show you something that Wasatch Pop noticed. Uh, Mason, thank you so much for pointing this out. It says on the inside flap of the box, it's finger licking good. Do you guys see that there? That's really funny. I think that's awesome that Funko did that. Um, it's in, like, that old kind of, like... Almost cursive font. Not cursive, but almost. I mean, I think that's really awesome that Funko did that. It's just a nice little addition to this pop that uh, I think really gives it that nice little touch. Um, but yeah, guys, mint condition box. Thank you so much, Funko, for shipping these over nice. It's in a bigger, thicker box than normal, which I think is really awesome. Um, but anyways, guys, there is the KFC Colonel Sanders. Now let's move on to the last thing that we have here, which is the Gotcha Robot Mystery Box. Now this was their special one, and this was to go with the mystery eggs. Let me see if I can show that off there, guys. The sticker that they had on here um, was the Gotcha Robot Mystery Egg. Now they switch up the sticker that they put on these every time, so I think that's awesome that they do that. Just to kind of like let you know if you order a bunch of these and they all come in at the same time, which mystery box you've got. Now this one is the mystery eggs. They do like specialty boxes and they change up the names of them. They did one for um, the Chinese New Year. They did one in, they do vending machines as their normal thing. Um, they've also done, um, so the eggs and then there was another one as well. I forget what it was. Um, but anyways guys, here's everything that you can get inside of this box. I don't really know what I'm expecting to get. 
Um, I'm just kind of excited to have this um, because they're always really fun. Last time we opened these up, we opened up two of them and we got The Hound, which was a really cool pop from Game of Thrones worth $100. And then we also got Super Saiyan 2 Gohan. Uh, which is a really awesome one as well from Dragon Ball Z. Um, so let's just cut into this. I know that there's probably a box inside of this one because that's what they did last time. So yeah, okay, good. I'm, I'm glad it didn't just cut into a pop or something. Um, but here we go here, guys. Super pumped about this one. This is um, always fun to open up Gotcha Robot mystery boxes. And if you guys want to check them out, go over to, I believe it's gotcharobot.com. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll put a link in the description, guys, for you guys to go check this out. Um, but it's really awesome that they put the sticker there again. They got your robot mystery eggs one. But let's just get right into this, guys, and see what we got. Okay, three. I don't want to look. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. We got. I feel it. Is it, I feel a sticker. I must. Oh wait, it's upside down then. There. Okay, guys, three, two, one. <gasps> hey, we got the Mickey Mouse. Now, this is the creamsicle one, I believe they're calling it. I ordered this one already, but the cool thing is, guys, is I don't mind. We'll just give away the one that I ordered. I want to keep this one, guys, because this is the only one that I have now um, with the Mickey exhibition sticker on it. This is the one where you guys have to actually go to the exhibition in New York to get this one. I wanted to go, I believe this was the last weekend, and I wanted to go um, this weekend when we go to Toy Fair, but the problem was was that they are closing it on the 10th and we're going on the 15th. That's so sad. We're five days off. Ugh, I was so excited about going. Uh, but now that we have this one, guys, this was the last one that I, I needed to get in. Um, so now I have all of them, I believe. Oh, there's another. Aha, I haven't opened up the other one yet. So mm, I don't have all of them open yet on the channel. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll do a video where we show off all of these ones because it was a trek to try and get them all. Um, but now this is the last one that I needed to order um, and I finally got it. So we'll do a giveaway for this one. Um, for the other one anyways, I want to keep this one because that's really cool that I have a Mickey the True the true original exhibition limited edition sticker now. I'll show you what the other ones look like if you guys want. So they switch it up. So the one is the Funko Shop one, and then this one is the, um, you know, the other sticker to go with actually going to the exhibition. So here's the difference in the stickers there, guys. This one that I just got in is the exhibition sticker, then the other one says lim limited Funko Shop. They make it the same colors, but they can't put the same thing on it because you didn't get it at the exhibition. And it's funny, these ones go for way more, like if you actually stood there in line, just for the sticker. Um, but yeah, still really awesome. By the way, guys, the mystery boxes were $40 Canadian, $30 American, in case you guys were wondering. They do ship to Canada. Um, they convert it for you right on the website, so that's much easier for everybody. Um, but that's going to do it for today, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. What was your favorite thing that we opened up today? Um, the Gotcha Robot Mystery Boxes are really cool, and I'm super pumped about getting that, guys. So don't forget to go check out Gotcha Robot Mystery Boxes in the description down below. Now, they don't just sell mystery boxes, guys. They also sell pops on their website. If you guys want to just go over there and purchase a couple pops, um, they also do that on their site. The VVG VVGS is really awesome, guys. So we'll be grading some pops soon. Super excited to get the Colonel Sanders in the mail but anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys want to see more from me in the future don't forget to like comment subscribe do all that but this has been another episode of top pops popsters thanks for watching